Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing. I, as you know, ordered or was on the hunt for another Semmore that I wanted the small size. I've gotten the 43 and then I thought I had bought the 30, but I believe I was sent the 35. Now these price, these, um, what can I say? These sizes are really kind of varied because they used to be called by their number, some more 43, 35, 30, and then I believe they are now called or referred to as uh, APM or MM, PM, and GM. So I'm not sure which or what, and I know that they vary also in certain styles, like some of them have the, the little um, rivets going down the middle, some of them have them too on the side. Anyway, they're just very different, so I'm hoping this is the size. And it looks like it is because it is a much smaller box. So um, this is also a very interesting story to it because I found this on Vinted. And um, I have never bought anything on Vinted. I bought something else that I'll show you later. But I had never bought anything before. And, uh, and I do have some things listed on there that people have been interested in, but they hadn't sold. I only have like three things. Uh, mostly for three bags actually three purses but anyway regardless I've never bought anything on Vinted I saw this bag she wanted it for she had it listed for $550 I offered her $400 and she said I can't do it on this site because of the because they charge 19% on Vinted to um, of uh, commission so she said something about, um, you know, I can email you on PayPal, and I'm really leery about doing that kind of transaction. Though I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm going to actually call PayPal and ask them directly, because a lot of people are saying you are still protected even if you're not buying off of a, of a legitimate site or a true site like um, eBay, Poshmark, and so forth. So, and that's what she told me as well. But I'm still a little leery, and she said, well... I'll put it on, on uh, Mercari. I sell on Mercari too as well. I ship a few things on Mercari. So I was just a lot more um, at ease to buy it through Mercari than to buy it directly, just email, PayPal, whatnot. And, or on Vinted, but since she wanted to go for a cheaper price, on if she had it at, at Mercari, which she also did, and she had a few other things on there. So that's what we did. So when we got to Mercari and we started talking on Macari, I said, um, you know, I said, okay, I'll take it and whatnot. Then I was thinking, because she had mentioned that there could be um, an odor to it, um, a storage odor, a storage scent that, that some of these things acquire when you keep it. Anyway, so I said, you know, I'm still a little leery about the odor factor you mentioned, so I still want to make you an offer, and <laughs> I offered her $375. So, no, I offered her $350, and she said, let me... Let me have at least 375 so I can cover the shipping. And I said, okay, so that's what we settled on was 375. And um, and she said, she even said, I'll put in some, um, I'll put in some of those. She said, I'll throw in in each pocket, I'll throw in some dryer sheets. And remember, I told you guys that I was using dryer sheets for the same reason because they do require, you know, a certain um, odor sometimes. And I found thrift store bags, not all of them, I've never found a Louis Vuitton at a thrift store, but I found others, you know, and they do occasionally get that scent, and it does work. All right, let's see the card. It says, hello, cute card. This lady, oh my gosh, you think this is a true, and her name is LV Addict Luxury Shop or something like that. She has an amazing collection on I think two or three sites and then she show, she shot me email after email after email of what she was selling from Louis Vuitton. I was just, my jaw just dropped of her collection. She had the most amazing collection and uh, you know she said I have this, I have that, if you don't like this, I have I have a couple of speedies, I have uh, some agenda. I mean she had everything and I, to the point where I almost got a little leery and started thinking I wonder if these are fake because I mean, they weren't extremely cheap or anything. She wasn't, that wasn't what kind of drew up, you know, my attention. But just the fact that she had such a copious collection. I mean, I'm talking, 
you've watched Jerusha, you've watched all those people on YouTube. No, she makes them look like amateurs. I mean, this girl has every Louis Vuitton you can think of. And so let's see what it looks like, right? Okay, it says, thank you for your first purchase. She knows me already. I was just kidding. I was just thinking today, if I like this, I am definitely going to be emailing her back and seeing what's going on. But she says, thank you for your first purchase and for your trust in business. Hope to see you again on your next purchase. Sincerely, Ellen, I think is her name. And it's a Hallmark card. I love Hallmark. So let's see, guys. I'm super excited because, you know, we got some glitter falling out of here. I think it's from this bag. Hmm. Yeah, that bag had a little glitter. Oh, I hate that. It's on my pants now. But as long as it's not on the bag. All right. So, um, yeah, I love when I can find someone that I trust and that I know is not selling fakes. And she even said, I hate fakes too. And you'll never see a fake on my site. So, you know, I, don't, I wouldn't risk my business for selling a fake and whatnot. And I've, I've just noticed that you know, this was in really good condition. This is the size I wanted. Already I'm excited. It's definitely the size I wanted. It is the purse size. Oh my gosh. Wow. Where's the strap here? Oh, it is so nice. It's got a little bit of a mark in the front. I'm not going to cover anything up, but that's not going to bother me. I really love the fact that the, the leather is not cracked or worn my 43 has got a, a little bit more wear than this one but i still love my 40s one oh my gosh this is the cutest most iconic bag i adore it let me open it up where's the strap here it is oh my gosh it's in good shape guys i don't even have to look for a day coat on this thing i can tell from everything else about its construction that it is indeed a genuine Louis Vuitton. Wow, I'm super excited. And she did throw in the sheets. These things really do work like a charm, I'm telling you, I get nothing. Oh my gosh, it just smells like leather. Look how cool that is. It says Louis Vuitton here on this label. So my, so my 43 doesn't have a, an inner label, I don't think. And then it doesn't say Louis Vuitton on this side or this side. And I have seen some like this. They all vary. There's some that do say Louis Vuitton, uh, Paris, and then Made in USA or whatnot. And here's the strap. Oh, the strap is nice. Nice, nice, nice. A little watermark there. She said this is one of her better ones. She had... She actually had two, some more 30s. Yeah, oh my gosh, this is the size I wanted, guys. Look how cute that is. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Super excited about this one. Yes. Wow. Wow. This is nice. Can't even smell it. She must have, she, wow. She was kind of over over exaggerating on the scent because I smell nothing that bothers me. It's not offensive at all. And the rivets are nice. They have a little bit of, um, you know, that brass tinge, that greenish tinge, but I can clean that off. It doesn't bother me at all. Not at all. Oh, I really, really love it. Super clean on the inside, too. Yeah, like I said, the only flaws that I see, the piping is good, too. You can see that piping there. The piping is very nice. Not exposed and barely worn at all. Wow. I love this bag, guys. I really, really do. And it's so lightweight. So I put that step my junk in it, right? Guys, thank you so much for coming in for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm excited. I finally got the size that I wanted. I don't think I'm going to need the 35, though I did like that for a book bag. If I was still going to school, which I may, I think I told you I was pursuing my master's, but I'm just doing it online. But, oh my gosh, that 
every size is just amazing. I love the 43. It's perfect for a weekend uh, for traveling. This is perfect for traveling as well because you don't have to worry about tote bags or, you know, whatever. You have your crossbody. It's got the two sides here. One side is rounded. The other side is more like an envelope. And I believe this is supposed to be the front, or I don't know. And then some people are doing the under. Now I know how they do the under under thing. They put the strap underneath it, and then somehow it turns. You can use it as a shoulder bag like this, and that looks really, really cute, too. I've seen some people do that on YouTube, and it looks really cute. It just gives it a more dressy feel. Oh. I love it. I'm super excited, guys. And I got it cheaper than I got the one that I had to send back on eBay. Uh, I got it for about $75 less than that one. I got it for, what, I can't do the math right now. Let's see, $550, $450, $350, $200. Got it about $200 less than what she was asking for, approximately. So for $375, <laughs> go ahead and get yourself a whatever else you want to get for $375, but I got me a Louis Vuitton awesome iconic bag. I adore it. Guys, thanks so much for coming in for this video. I really appreciate you joining me. Please come back again. Bye.